Classic at the start of the season, Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year. The two biggest pieces of business to settle during the course of a year. One angler had distinguished himself all season long, came in here and just kept it rolling. From winds on the California Delta to winds on the Potomac River to now seizing deep water, clear water from the St. Lawrence River all the way to Chateau. And really, if you looked at his game plan here on Chateau, it was sticking to it. It was never deviating. I'm going to tell you something. That's an intense dude that got it done. And I will tell you, I think he saved his best performance for the final week of the season. Fishing has always been about the guy that can go out there, that doesn't have the pressure, that just is enjoying it, making decisions on the fly, uh, all that kind of stuff, that really free feeling. Those are the guys that get in the hot streaks and do really well. And I think, I, I pretty much know, that's what happened to me this year. It was weird growing up in California in the late 90s, early 2000s, and I was a young kid that liked to fish. Like, that just wasn't something that anyone really did out there. My, my parents didn't fish, but my grandpa and uncle did, and they got me out on the water. But I, I you know, from an early age, 13, getting my first Bassmaster magazine, 12 years old, uh, somewhere right in there, I knew that I really knew then that I wanted to try and be a professional fisherman. What is important in life uh, definitely changed a little bit. That to me, dude, when I had a bad day this year and I got off the water and I could just hold my son, didn't really matter. At the end of the day, I was like, oh, I'm just trying to catch some fish. No doubt about it, if you really look at what Justin Lucas did this year and prior years on the Bassmaster Elite Series is honing his entire game. For the first time in my life, I feel like I, I know enough now and I've learned enough now. Nine years, this is my ninth year on tour. I felt like every time I put that trolling motor down, I was gonna catch every single fish that lived around my boat. And I've never felt that way before. It, it was a really kind of weird feeling. Oh, there he is. That's a good one, dude. Gosh, that's a good one. This is the same bait I threw here uh, the whole time. Dude, caught every fish on top water. That is a toad, too. That's the biggest one I've caught since I've been here. That's a monster spot. I mean a freaking monster, dude. That's what I'm saying. If I, I, don't, I don't know how to, I don't know why. I don't know how to explain that, man. It's a feeling that I hope every fisherman can experience at some point because it's amazing and it's nothing you can buy. You just gotta fish, fish your way into that groove.